Charles Tussles, great to watch and great to take part in. Let me take you back first, though, to uh, another match that, uh, apart from the pressure provided by Australia-England clashes, another match that might have provided you with a little bit of pressure, 1972 Benson and Hedges final. Yes, I can remember that very clearly because it was against my old county, Yorkshire, where I'd just left to go to Leicestershire. And I was probably more nervous during that match than any other match in my life. Not just because we were playing back against Yorkshire, I don't think it was that so much. Uh, the fact that I'd gone to Leicester in 69, it got to 72, and we'd been building up a side amongst these young players with one or two experienced players like Ken Higgs and Graham McKenzie, the Australian. And I felt that if we could win that particular match, we would then go on from strength to strength. But if we didn't win that one, we could be back to square one again. The fact that we did go on to win the Benson Edges that day, we then became a very, very good side and won further trophies. And I'm sure it all involved around that particular match. And this was part of your captaincy thing that you'd started in 1969. And uh, you weren't actually coming to the end of your career, but this one must have been a real highlight for you. Yes, it was. In fact, I did eventually go out of the dressing room, I think, when uh, we bowled Yorkshire out for somewhere in the region of 140-something. And I think we were about 90 for five, if I remember rightly. And I thought, crack, we're just at that stage now that anything goes a bit wrong here. And Chris Bolson, in fact, another Yorkshireman, played extremely well. And Paul Hayward took us through to victory, and uh, it really was a tremendous day for me. A triumph for Railingworth and for Leicestershire. Man of the match, the Gold Award went to Chris Balderstone. Well, now, Raymond. Our lads had never known anything like it at Leicester. They'd never won anything in the 100 years of the club, so it was a big occasion for them. 